Michael Miller thought he was doing a good deed by donating a portion of his kicker rebate to Oregon school children. Helping the local schools. The Portland man checked a box marked kicker donation on a state income tax return. And in the following column, Michael said his TurboTax app automatically inserted an amount of $75. $75 is a lot of money, but it was going to the school fund. And I know the schools are always in need of help, especially now. So we decided $75, we can sacrifice $75. Michael didn't think much of the donation until he received a letter from the Oregon Department of Revenue several weeks right. later. Yeah, the state agency the notified schools. Michael his uh, tax return was being adjusted to reflect a much larger kicker donation. Instead of a $75 donation for schools, the state would be taking $1,100 his entire kicker rebate. It should have been clear that it was taking the entire kicker, yeah. To make matters worse, the decision that. to donate was irrevocable. I was upset. Irrevocable is a pretty heavy term. It's all of your kicker or none of your kicker. Rich Hoover, spokesperson for the Oregon Department of Revenue, explained it's important to read the fine print. The tax instructions explain you can't donate just a portion of the kicker rebate on your tax return. The only option is for to donate all of your kicker or none of it. Instead, if taxpayers want to donate a portion, they should claim all their kicker credit. Then, once they receive it, donate by writing a check to the State Department of Education. For Michael, there may be some relief. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, the due date for state income tax returns to be filed has been extended. The Department of Revenue says he can file an amended return. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.